Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another review. Yes, that is correct. You heard me. Another review, okay? I bought another palette that I'm going to review and it is going to be fun, but also you get a two in one video because this is also a tutorial and an inspired look because a certain blondie, <laughs> she released her version of red and all I can say is, oh my goodness, I love it. Her 10 minute version of my favorite song, All Too Well, is a hit. I love it. The video is gorgeous. Uh, I'm like gushing all over it, like it's beautiful. So you get a two for one today. It is a Taylor Swift Red Album inspired makeup look and a review all in one video. And today I am reviewing our Anastasia Beverly Hills Primrose palette. Now it's still in the packaging. Um, it's like a little bumpy, but <laughs> this is the Primrose palette for face and eyes, which means I'm assuming it's like a couple of washes, whatever. So let's get this out and oh, it feels nice. Like, I don't know if you can see that, um, but it is like, you know, like it doesn't suck. So we're just gonna quickly open it and look at that. It's very simple. It's like rose gold inside and I love that. I love it. It's cute. It's beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. Just first look at it. It's great. <laughs> so I'm so excited to get into this and I hope you guys are too. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is already gorgeous and we have had a look at it. Doesn't it look a like it looks adorable to me. So what we're going to do is we are going to start off with our honey color, which is in fact this one here. So that's honey and we're just going to use it on our uh, brow line. Sorry, my, brow, my brain had a moment. Our brow line and we're just going to kind of bite it. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deepen it up with the rouge color, which is a nice kind of dark brown. That one there. Sorry, it's underneath our honey color. Um, it doesn't look rouge at all. It just looks brown to me. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to, we're going to go on our outer corner and we're going to use our, the deep berry colour, which is like a nice deepish, I don't know, like deep berry, like that looks like a deep berry, right? Or is it just me? I don't know, but we're just going to use that on the outer corner.
Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in with the Claret color, which is basically a lighter tone of the deep berry. It's like a pinkish kind of tone. So that one right there. I'm just gonna go underneath the eyeball with it. I have an eyelash in my eye, I can feel it. Okay, so I did go in and blend it in with that deep berry color and now it just looks like I'm crying. So that's fun, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with a half cup crease, which means I'm not doing a full cup crease, I'm just doing a half one today because I'm trash and I don't really feel like doing a full one today. Or sometime, I just can't be bothered. But also, it's going to be a cute look if I just do like a half one or a quarter one. I don't know. Um, so, we're going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so doesn't that look so much cuter? <laughs> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with the Rose Water Color. It is a nice metallic shimmery color. So, let me just kind of so watch that one for ya before we do anything. So, like it's shiny as hell, okay? Um, so we're gonna use uh, that one on our inner corner. So where we usually do some highlight, really. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some liner and some lashes. Nothing too big, nothing too small though. So it might be like a small to medium sized wing. Um, just some regular lashes that'll look natural and that's about it. So I'm gonna do that and I will be right back. Okay, so to finish off this look, we are going to go in with our Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Boy Collector, because it is the only red lipstick that I own that is not Jeffree Star or Morphe, so um, that's what we gotta do. Okay, so this palette, I mean, it's pigmented. I mean, these metallics are so friggin' pigmented. Let me just sw ooh, swatch them for you. Um, here we go. We've got that one, that one, that one, that one. Like, they're so friggin' pigmented that, like, 
Um, I can't tell you. Like, Anastasia Beverly Hills has the most pigmented um, colors ever when it comes to, you know, eyeshadow. So it's really good. Um, there is a face and eye palette. So the two big colors, the grapefruit fruit and the saddle color, they are supposed to be for your face. So I'm assuming that's more of a blush and a contour or a bronzer sort of thing. I have no idea. But this fire opal color, which is in fact that dark orange metallic one, has crushed itself on me. So I'm a little bit annoyed at that. But, you know, it's not a bad palette. Like, it doesn't suck. But it's more like an on-the-go sort of palette, so you don't have to carry like your blush and your bronzer and all that sort of thing. So like, that's cute and all. Um, and like you've got, like it's cute, okay? You could use the metallics as a highlighter, maybe, if you're like that dark. But I am not, so I cannot. Uh, but you know, it's a fun vibe. It's cute. It doesn't suck. So it's not bad. I mean, this came out ages ago, like. I mean, ages, ages, ages ago, and I'm only just um, <laughs> reviewing it now because I haven't had money. That's why. So, plus I didn't realize that you could get this at Sephora, and it cost me ninety-three dollars at Sephora. It's expensive for you know. It doesn't feel as thick as the other palettes that she's done, so I don't fully know what that is about. Like. The other palettes, like, you know, the rectangle palettes, they are thicker. They feel a little bit thicker. Um, I mean, not much else to it. It's a palette. You can use it on the go. It's it's fine. It doesn't suck. You get the idea. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. Because I make new videos every Monday. Monday. And I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank you.